The importance of Mittal's left function is realized during the last one and a half decade due to its direct involvement in the form of physics, biology, engineering, and applied sciences. Mittal's left function actually happens as the solution of the fractional order differential equations and fractional integral equations. For computing numerical results involving Mittal's left function in our findings, we need to compute Mittal's left function for numerical and graphical interpretation. For the same, we need some computing tool. In this lecture, we are using MATLAB to compute Mittal's left function involving several parameters. So let's start computing Mittal's left function with MATLAB. And uh, this is the main topic today. Compute numerical Mittal's left function with the for loop using MATLAB. You can see this is the main agenda for the current topic. Here we are going to compute uh, Mittal's left function for several parameters. Uh, in the very first case, we have a Mittal's left function involving one parameter uh, given by Swedish mathematician Gosta Mittal's left. Then, uh, by using the same code, uh, we will uh, compute a Mittal's left function involving two parameters, and this was introduced by Weyman. Then, uh, we have the Mittal's left function for three parameters and uh, generalized by Prabhakar. And at the end, uh, we will uh, compute Mittal's left function involving four parameters. And and uh, this uh, function was introduced by A.K. Shukla and uh, J.C. Parjapati. So these are two extensions and generalizations of Mittal's left function was given by Indian mathematicians. So here you can see in 1903, the Swedish mathematician Gosta Mittal's left introduced the function E alpha Z and uh, is defined as uh, E alpha Z is equal to summation n equal to 0 to infinity Z raised to power n upon gamma n alpha plus 1, where Z is a complex variable and uh, this symbol is used for gamma function. Alpha will be greater than and equal to zero so alpha cannot be an active number or uh, if alpha is a complex number then the real part of alpha must be greater than zero when we expand this mithas left function for n equal to zero one two three over the summation so for n equal to zero we have this is the first term and when we have n equal to one we get the second term of the series when we have n equal to two we have the third term and so on. This is the general term of the series when we expand our summation. This will help us to write MATLAB code. Okay, so it's necessary to expand the function. Now, here we are able to write the code in MATLAB. So, first very important thing is you can see uh, this series include one variable and one parameter so if we put this is equal to m so this is this m function in involve one variable and one parameter so we will start from this place this is m function m is equal to now we are going to define this is the just assignment for the function methods lateral function mlf Okay, you can use in any way. And uh, this is the at the place of Z, I am using X, and this is the value alpha. Okay, we will pass uh, these two values. And uh, Mithas left function is involving one variable and one parameter. So now what we are doing uh, here, we will use par loop. Because this is the series and all type of series, we can write function for them by using the for loop. Because here is indexing. This is the first term. Uh, we, uh, this is first term uh, for n equal to 0. This is n equal to 1, n equal to 2, and here is n. Okay. So this is the index for the series. Now, uh, for the for loop, we need to initialize. For the initialize for loop, we need one particular value. And uh, we are using here m is equal to 1. This is the value from very first term. Okay. So, this is the in initialization for loop. Okay. Uh, and this value is when we have n equal to 0. Now, for the rest term from this place to this place. Okay. Uh, we will use for loop for i equal to 1 to 
n. But here we are choosing n equal to 50. We are choosing uh, first 50 terms from 1 to 50. Okay. So this is the for loop and i is equal to 1 colon 50. Uh, this will be uh, when we extend this is the index for the corresponding terms. Now when we have n equal to 1 this term will be calculated at this place. But for writing the code we will use this general term because with the help of this term we can pass all the values but this is the particular value okay n equal to 1 is particular case so here this part as you can see this is uh, the part from this term okay so here uh, this is 1 upon gamma this is alpha n in the place of alpha we are using i okay this is alpha product i plus 1 and uh, this gamma function is inbuilt function in the MATLAB. We can use directly at, the, at this place. And also in the place of Z, we are using X. So dot product, uh, dot, dot and uh, this is star symbol of a product. Uh, this will be create an array for the array product. We have to use dot product sign. Okay. Then we have... Uh, this sign is used for exponent here we have is z raised to power n okay uh, like in this way but uh, this also will create an array like z into z so for that uh, we need element by element product we have to use the pro uh, for the product purpose dot at this place okay so here we are using dot so uh, from this place uh, we have uh, this term now when we have n equal to 1 and corresponding to n equal to 1 this value will be calculated and uh, m is the uh, first value so this value will be updated uh, uh, this is the first term when we have n equal to 0 this is the value when we have n equal to 1 and here is n equal to 0 both term will be calculated and simplified and this new value will be stored at this place now when we have n equal to 2 this value will be calculated at this place and i is equal to 2 next value will be taken for i is equal to 2 means we have the second term uh, sorry third term for n equal to 2 Okay, so this value will be updated for n equal to 2 and this will be the third term of the series as you can see and this m is the sum of first two terms. They, now when these values will be updated, we have sum of three terms. Okay, so the m is include sum of first two term for 0 and 1 and this is for the third term and this new value which is sum of three terms will be stored in m and this is the updated value again when you will choose for n equal to 4 n equal to 5 this will work in this way you can see this will be loop and values will be updated and so on okay so all the information will be stored in m and this will uh, uh, this loop will work until we have i is equal to 50 so in this way uh, we will get the sum of 51 terms okay so uh, this is the complete function for the this above series and the most important thing is we need to initialize the loop okay and the for loop is starting at this place and end at this place okay this is the part of the for loop and this is the general term will be used at this place and for the functional statement we need to end the function also 
now we have this complete program in the matlab and by using uh, this script for the mithas leffler function we can easily get the numerical values okay but uh, i would also would like to explain you here that we we, we will get these two results in two different ways so come to in the matlab uh, you can see this is the matlab and the same program uh, as you can see we have uh, uh, this is the first statement as we defined in the presentation okay as we do at this place we have the same and uh, m is equal to 1 uh, we are using here for loop m is equal to uh, for i is equal to 1 to 50 and uh, uh, this is the corresponding uh, statement for the for loop and uh, end at this place then end the function then uh, you need to save this script file in your current directory okay so uh, when i will uh, you can see this is my current directory and uh, while saving this function uh, the file name must be same as we have uh, we at this place okay please don't change the name of the current file otherwise this file will not work for you now we want to get some numerical values for this function uh, we uh, we need to create one more script file so that we can use at this place now what we are doing here uh, we are testing for the some particular values so uh, clc used for the clear the command window clear is used for the uh, existing variables okay and here also you can update the you can use the format i am using here format long so the value of x is 2 and the value of alpha i am using here at this place 0.5 i am remove uh, i am commenting this statement use the comment so when you will use the comment this statement will not execute now the green statements are not the part of the program only we have x is equal to 2 alpha is equal to 0.5 and z is equal to x colon y okay when i will execute okay here is error uh, we need to pass the values in y okay see again remove the semicolon check it so here you can see uh, for uh, z is equal to 2 we have this value if uh, you want to change the value of uh, alpha you can do here alpha is suppose it is 1 okay so for alpha equal to 1 this will be reduced into the exponential function and we have this corresponding value okay but we are using here uh, 0.5 also the most important thing is when you will execute note this value here you can see we are using uh, the sum of the index or sum of the series up to 50 terms what if i am uh, i change these values if i have first 10 terms and check these values okay so now this will return the sum of first 11 terms see now in the matlab yes these are the new values and uh, when i will increase this index uh, this loop for uh, 20 terms first you need to save this file then execute at this place yeah there is very small change in the values and uh, when again we are uh, changing this value if i am choosing here sum of 51 terms okay so now these are uh, this is the one term and these are 50 term and total we have 51 terms and if we get the sum of first 50 terms okay save this file and execute this statement now we have the sum of first 50 terms and you can see there is no change in the value now if you will increase these values if we have first 100 term okay save this file and this will return the value after summing up first 101 terms and see these uh, these are some of the first 50 term and now when we will execute this value will be updated 
and uh, you will surprise to see that uh, these uh, few uh, few uh, significant values are same only last uh, some values are changed okay so as soon as you will increase these values if you will choose here a 200 save it and again you can check now you can see now you can see there is no change in the values okay so uh, you can check the convergence and uh, how decimal places are significant for your calculation okay so uh, here uh, for uh, uh, two decimal or three decimal places uh, we need only 50 terms or 60 terms less than 100 terms are sufficient so in this way you can easily check the convergence of the series also now we want to plot these values uh, plot of the graph this is very quite simple uh, uncomment all this statement okay and uh, for the plotting, uh, we are choosing the interval from uh, 1 to 2 and uh, with the difference of the points we have uh, point zero zero 2. Okay, so when I will execute uh, this statement, uh, this is the function and uh, this is the function to plot the graph this is the x variable and this is the y function which is equal to the methodology function and uh, line width we are choosing at place 2 x level we have x and y level we have uh, methodology function for one variable and font size is 16 so when i will execute uh, this statement see in the graph yes so this will return the corresponding graph of the methods left function for one variable and on the horizontal line we have x and on the vertical line you can see the methods left function for one variable okay so uh, the thing is the thing is uh, the another way to represent the same we can use in this way yes here you can see here you can see we we are using here symbolic variable and one is x and other is alpha okay we will pass these values in the through the function and the most important thing is we need not to create uh, the other file all the results we can calculate at this place we can prove to the same all the statements will be in the single file uh, here the value of alpha i am choosing 0.5 and this is the same part this is the same part as we do in at this place okay so uh, m is equal to 1 and for loop is there and also at this place we have the same for loop m is equal to 1 and for loop is there and the difference is that we are assigning the values of uh, x uh, variable and the parameters in the in the same file okay and uh, uh, we are choosing the loop for i equal to 1 to 50 and z is equal to we have x colon uh, semicolon m and uh, this sign is used for transpose so this will create the numerical results in the single file t yes you can see in the desktop these are the numerical values of the uh, function uh, from uh, uh, 0 to 1 interval and the difference of each between point is uh, 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and so on so first column is the values of x and the second uh, second column represent the values of Mithas left function for one variable and one parameter okay uh, if you need some more experiment you can do yourself by changing the values of the parameters by extending the interval and many more you can do different type of experiments and also if you want to plot these values you can do here 
uh, use the float function and here is x comma y okay but uh, you need to increase uh, you need to decrease the uh, increment okay so uh, this is the point zero zero one and now we can plot the graph you can see we have the graph at this place uh, here is unrecognized the y variable okay uh, y is equal to we have y is equal to we have m now this will return the graph yes you can see this is the graph of the same so in this way you can use all these statement in the single file so the program is there as well as uh, we are getting the numerical values and we are plotting the graph so in this way also you can use but this part is very important while using because sometimes we need to call the function so you have to create a function in the one file and after creating the function in the one file you can use the same file anywhere for your purpose okay now what we are doing uh, here is uh, this is the next case uh, the generation of e alpha was introduced by by one in 1905 okay and he defined the function as e alpha beta you can see here are two parameters and just at the place of one we have beta alpha and beta both are complex variables parameters and both a real part of these two parameters must be greater than and equal to zero if we have beta is equal to one we have the same function uh, which is defined as the metas left function so the difference in the previous and this new function is only we need to introduce only one parameter so here uh, the rest of the part of the programming will be same here x and alpha are same just we introduce one more parameter on the right hand side and uh, this uh, added place the in the previous code we have one but now we have beta okay so this only these two changes are required in our existing file and when you will uh, when you will uh, get the numerical results you have to assign the value of beta also so come to here what we have to do just we need to introduce first we need to introduce here beta this is beta and uh, here also we need to use beta one parameter at its place so this is the small change is required okay and uh, here beta assign the value of beta suppose it is uh, i am using point or you can choose any value now here is uh, beta is also changed because now we have the y function for one variable and two parameters and now you can uh, you can execute this sequence of statement okay and you will get the corresponding graph for the two variables and also you can introduce here one more yeah alpha and beta comma beta okay yes so in this way uh, one by one you can increase the parameters now now in the next case you can see uh, in 1971 prabhakar introduced a methods left row function involving three parameters alpha beta and gamma in this form you can say in the equation 1.5 so alpha and beta are the same and gamma is at its place the change in this function is very important to see carefully here is gamma function this parameter is introduced at this place and this is the pochamber symbol okay and uh, more information about pochamber symbol uh, you can uh, see this book renville for special functions and uh, you can see this mithas refer function is involving alpha beta and gamma these are the parameters and z is the variable and here also we have n factorial 
don't forget about this one here is n factorial okay so the changes which are required for the function is uh, alpha, this is the same and alpha is same and here is beta and uh, gamma will be used at this place i use this notation for the gamma and uh, in the other part of the programming at this place we have the chamber symbol and uh, gamma is passed at this place the chamber symbol which is involving in the methods reference function and in the place of n we are using i okay and uh, on the right hand side you can see gamma alpha i plus beta and also uh, here is one more thing is missing n factorial for the n factorial we will multiply here with the gamma n plus 1 okay please make it correct and then we have x uh, z raised to power n and in the place of z raised to power n we are using x raised to power i okay so come to in matlab and uh, we need to to make uh, correct all these things and then after we can proceed so first uh, we need to update our function so here uh, we have one more parameter which is gamma make it correct and also uh, at this place we have po chamber this is po chamber double m so the syntax in the matlab is very sensitive and uh, you need to check very carefully and uh, gamma then comma i okay now first you need to save this file for update you need to save this file and also at this place there is here is product gamma i because uh, there was a factorial and uh, for the factorial we can use gamma i plus 1 note this point very carefully factorial n is equal to we have gamma n plus 1 so we update this statement also for the numerical result uh, we need all this function and then paste at this place so that all the parameters must be there and we need to assign the value to the gamma function and uh, gamma is equal to suppose it is 0.3 i am using for the value of gamma is 0.3 now uh, we have all values of the all the parameters and uh, this is the function in which is involving three parameters and one variable which was updated at this place now when you will execute uh, this statement okay other places we need not required to change any uh, you can just uh, introduce all the parameters uh, you can add at this place also uh, we have uh, gamma okay this is gamma now execute this statement so this is not resulting the value uh, we have the numerical values but graph not plotted uh, we need to to increase um, if i have gamma is equal to Three. Okay, no value is returning. Program is correct, but the values are not returning. Uh, we need to reduce the values. Point five at this place for the gamma we have point five, and then execute no graph. It means values are seems to be very small. Values are not defined. The values for the interval are not defined. Okay, all the values are not defined for this. Values are not exist. So what we have to do? You can see here nan nan. It means values are not exist for this one. If uh, I am choosing here gamma is equal to five, still the values are not exist. And if I increase the interval up to ten, not yet. Decrease the decrease the loop. Decrease the loop index. Save it 
and then yes uh, decrease the okay yes so uh, for the numerical results you need to decrease the in index added space because the values becomes very large and values not exist so for the graphing uh, we need to, to decrease the number of index added space we are taking uh, first 51 terms okay so now uh, when you will execute this statement you have the corresponding graph added space you can see in the matlab involving three parameters now again if we have uh, in the condition of this study a k shukla and j c prajapati investigate the function in uh, this type of function involving four parameters alpha beta gamma and q where alpha beta gamma are the complex numbers and real part of all these are greater than and equal to 0 where q belongs to 0 to 1 a union okay and the function is defined as in this way so the difference in the previous and the present is that the q parameter is involving at this place so the, the only this change we need to make in our program so see the changes in the matlab to see all the changes come to matlab uh, here is we have to introduce only one parameter and that is q that is q at this place and the q is multiplied with n q is the product with n so in our program this will be appeared with i okay product i and here is q now save this file first now for the numerical result what you will do you will assign the value to the parameter q and suppose it is 0.3 and at this place we have q now execute this statement yes we have the corresponding graph involving involving four parameters alpha is there beta is there gamma is there and q in the present lecture we discuss about how we can write the program for mithas refer function to get numerical and graphical results uh, this mithas refer function involving one parameter two parameter three parameter and four parameters all type of results we can easily get if you are able to understand how we can write the program for one parameter of mithas refer function okay and then one by one you can increase the number of parameters and as soon as you will increase the parameters the complexity will also increase and in each step you need to check uh, all the numerical values you need some experiments in the next coming lecture we will study some more complex mithas refer functions involving several variables as well as parameters i hope this lecture is very useful informative who are working on the special functions fraction calculus so uh, for getting the numerical values this code is very helpful for all of you you must share this content with your colleagues with your scholars with your students with your friends if you have any question uh, or problem which you are facing i have put my whatsapp number you can text me and i am sure i will provide you the solution thank you very much to see this lecture till the end